What's up, people? It's King Dub the Seventh, and you're probably wondering why I have this Mario Cappy hat on, and I, I don't really have an answer for you. I just like the hat, and I wanted to put it on for the video, even though it has nothing to do with Mario. But as you can see, it does have to do with Destiny 2, the first expansion, Curse of Osiris. So, Bungie has apparently released a trailer for this expansion, and I want to look at it with you guys. So, we're going to do a trailer breakdown. Might not be much to break down. I don't know. Let's look at it. I haven't seen it yet. Some of you have probably already seen it. I don't know. So right now we see Ikora. Guardian. What I'm about That's to tell you us. stays between us. While we have been fighting, an ancient gate has opened on Mercury, and an army of past and future machines amasses. They intend to reshape the universe in their image. But there is one who has glimpsed this dark future. He was my mentor. So we get to meet Osiris. So, alright. So first of all, we already knew that the uh, Curse of Osiris was going to be on Mercury. We already knew we were going to get a chance to go to Mercury and get a chance to travel around and stuff like that. We already knew that. I covered that in the past video. What I didn't know, though, is we're going to meet arguably the strongest warlock to ever live. And look at his ghost. I didn't know that we were going to get to meet Osiris. That's pretty dope. Osiris, the most notorious guardian in Vanguard history. Once, his dangerous ideas nearly... Yo, look at him. And he was banished. Now he has returned. But will he be a powerful ally or bring us death? So Osiris could be an enemy. You are the one thing they have not foreseen. Go to Mercury and find Osiris. So here's a question. Oh, how could they have not foreseen me when in the past, like, I don't know, the past maybe six events I've intervened and saved the world? Like, I saved the world from Siva, I saved the world from Atheon, especially, they should know about me, I killed Atheon. And I killed a bunch of their other hive minds and things like that. How could they have not foreseen this? The Vex are supposed to know everything. And also, why are we fighting the Vex again? Whatever. But, uh, more importantly, they said Osiris. If, if you know the lore, then you know that Osiris had a different thought from the other Vanguard members. I forget who he was in the Vanguard with. So, as they say, they banished him. And they said Osiris would either bring us victory or death. So, Osiris could end up being an enemy, which I will hate being a warlock. I don't want to go against another fellow warlock in Osiris. That would suck. He's probably one of my favorite people in the lore. Osiris, time is not on our side. December 5th. Get the expansion pass now. Two all wow. new expansions. One great value. So this is going to be the first Destiny 2 expansion. The first one of Destiny 1 was the Dark Below, and that came out a month or two after the game was released. I think it was one month after the game was released. This is much later than that. December 5th is three months? After the game is released. Also, people are complaining pretty bad about Destiny, which I want to do a video on in the future. How are they going to survive until December 5th? I think the game is fine. But how are they going to survive until December 5th with the upset fan base that they have right now? There are plans to like reshape some of the in-game content and stuff like that but i don't know i guess we'll have to see right um i'm pretty excited this looks like it's going to, we haven't seen much but i'm interested right now by the story alone which is something that i couldn't say about the dark below mm, kind of i mean the dark below was crota right i guess crota was kind of interesting but we'll see we'll see what happens
that's pretty much all I have to say about this trailer right now. It's like it's Destiny. It's just another Destiny expansion. I'm interested to see the new gear, the new just the new content period. I love new content in Destiny. It's always exciting. So this is King Dove the Seventh signing off. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hear what Peace. I hear.